Hello once again. Welcome now to Body Control Module. There's another computer module that is responsible for accessories of the vehicle. What do I mean by accessories? The light, the light system in the car. And many people think, well, let's say when the lights are out, they think, okay, maybe it's a fuse. Not in these modernized, computerized cars. We'll go through a few examples. Now, take for example this. You have left and right front parking uh, uh, um, lamps and also the turn signals for left and right. As you can see over here, these are the bulbs. These are the bulbs for one is for the left, one is for the right. As you can see, two filaments in one bulb. Now, we come back over here. Now, before we went through a relay, we know when we go through a relay, we need two variables. We need a plus 12 volts and we need a ground. In this circuit, as you can see, we have a relay. The, it will start, always we start from the control side. The one that we, the resistor is the control side. And let me get the, okay. We always start with this side, the, this side. This side is the 12 volts, hot at all times. That means all the time, doesn't matter if you're in accessories, run or start, you always, always have 12 volts to it. If you put a meter to it, always have 12 volts, regardless of where the ignition switch is in. Now, we come over here, this is 12 volts, fine. We need a ground here. How will I get a ground? Let's continue with the circuit. We go through here, this is a, con a connector. We go through here, we go through here. And guess what? Now we come to body control module, abbreviated as BCM. Before we had a PCM, PCM is for the engine. This is for accessories, power lock doors, uh, mirrors, uh, lamps, like you'll see here. We have to go through him to get what? To get our ground. See? We need a B plus, we received it. Easy, that was easy. The hard part is now getting the ground. When you see this, and you see this going in between here and here, that means we have to go through him in order to get him. That will, that's what makes it tricky. So how do we get about this? The headlamp switch, I, put, I close the headlamp switch. I want the parking lamps on, right? Put the parking lamps on over here. I flip this switch from here to here. This will be now where? You see this? pink over here be from here to here so i flip the switch to turn on the headlamps fine that's not enough <clears throat> he has to acknowledge me also like a switch inside that he closes this circuit and now i can complete the path to ground so that's the tricky part that's the tricky part make sure i get a ground but he has to acknowledge it he has to complete the path to ground from here 12 volts goes in here, and then it comes out here, and then zero volts. <coughs> so therefore, again, BCM is, is, is in control. He's the boss. Once that happens, let's follow the other part of it. This is the other part of it. 12 volts here. Current now flows into this side. Where is this switch? This switch flip from here to here to where? To here to here. So now current can flow. You see the yellow? Now it flows from here, follow the, follow the pink arrows, through here, 12 volts, through this fuse, going to other locations also, other lighting systems, but it's going through a fuse, through, comes out here, follow the pink, comes out here, it's a brown wire, comes out over here, and then goes where? Goes through the appropriate lamps, one for the left, one for the right, and also for turn signal lamps also, right and left. Splits up, goes here, and it goes here, 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 and here. So, not to get too technical, but that's not important. The mo most important thing is th the lamps are going on. The lamps are going on through him. You have to go through him to, to get this relay going, to get the... Uh, the, the uh, uh, park lamps to work that's the difficult part so whenever you see a few lights arrive if one bulb is out we know to replace the bulb but when you have many bulbs out can't be right has to be maybe okay the first thing is always a fuse 
But it can always be the computer module. This is what I've been stressing. What I've been stressing a lot. Let's go to a simpler one. Now you see this? Look at this one. Left back up, right back up, like a reverse slice. Now I go again. Guess who's in charge again? BCM again. We need 12 volts here, right? How do we get 12 volts over here? If you look over here, trailblazer on one side, the trailblazer and bravada, and an envoy on this side. I'll explain in a second. Hot at all times, current flows through this fuse, 32, 10 amps, right through the battery. So this gets to 12 volts. When it gets to 12 volts, guess what? Lamp voltage. Uh, it goes through here. There's, this is the input, this is the output. Goes through here. And it comes, 12 volt comes out here to the left and right lamps. Now, there's a couple of things about this. Trailblazer and Bravo, like I said before, there are two connections here. One through this, through the through these two, and the other connection is, see, this one. So if, you, if, you, if your vehicle is a trailblazer, you're gonna follow this path. The light green, two light greens over here. If you're gonna have an envoy, you're gonna go this point. This is the envoy, it's gonna go through this, through this, through here. And the black is the ground. Again, what controls this? Body control module. There is no relay here for what we see uh, uh, externally, but what is here? The body control mount giving us 12 volts. So, <clears throat> let's troubleshoot. I go, I go, if I go take out the, the connectors of the reverse lights, I could do that. It's a little inconvenient. I could do that also. But let's say I'm supposed to measure how much? 12 volts across this one, 12 volts across this one. I come, I, I, I go over here and I don't see no reverse lights. How do you know you don't have no reverse lights if you're in the car? I have to drive the car in the first place. Well, usually you can see by the reflection uh, of your lights on the vehicle behind you. So let's say you park. You can see your reflection of the, of the reverse lights on... The vehicle behind you, especially at nighttime, it's easier to see it. Those white lights, you don't see them, you know there's a problem for reverse lights, right? Especially if you back up and the driver is coming behind you, he doesn't see it. Guess what? He doesn't know you're going in reverse. That's why you shouldn't put your car in neutral, like some people do, because your reverse lights are not going to be on in neutral. So anyway, besides that, no 12 volts over here. What what what's the problem? We come over here. 12 volts over here, but to go to the body control module is a little difficult, a little difficult, right? So what can we do? What can we do? We go to the fuse, 12 volts at the other side of the fuse, fine. What we can do is, what we can do is, I can, con I, I can go from here to 12 volts. I could connect the wire from here to the other side of the fuse. And what will that do? That will give me 12 volts right there from the fuse. From here to here. That tells me this is good. And that tells me what that this fuse is good, which we knew anyway. The problem probably is here in the computer or the wiring. But let me show you something a little also in this. Now... Find it. Uh, okay, this is the one. Confusing as it is, again, the relay. We just spoke about many, many instances with the relay over here. We need a positive. We need a ground. So usually we say, okay, the positive comes from where? The battery. And the ground comes from the, the computer. Look at this one now. You can never assume that. Look at this one. This is the, bo the, the this is the negative. Where is it going to? It's going to the black, a physical ground. So he already has a ground. Look at the 12 volts here, 12 volts, 12 volts, and guess where it's coming from? Relay control, guess where that is? Body control module. See how, see how tricky, how you have to analyze? So what is the computer doing? Let me zoom out. The computer is giving it now a 12 volts, not a ground. 
Those two images, that's why I started with those two images before. Those two is giving you ground. Here, you already have the ground. It's give, you need the 12 volts. The 12 volts has to come from the computer again. See how tricky it is? Once you get the 12 volts, this is energized. Now what happens to this? This goes from here to here, and it goes to here. And now... Now it could go to left low beam and, all, and proper high beams and all the, these lights over here. So when you have your lamps not being turned on left and right, high beams or low beams, guess who you can blame? You can blame the relay. Could be the relay. Could be the body control module. Can you jump the relay in this instance? Usually you know I'm against it, but you know what? In this, in this circumstance, you could do that. You can do that. No problem. You can do that. When you do it, which one are you going to jump again? Which one are you going to jump? Here, 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 here. <clears throat> Never jump these two. Jump these two. Where on this relay? If this is the relay, I have no wiring diagram, but I come to my car and I know the lights are out. I check the fuse. I check the fuse, and the fuse was good. I, I suspect it's the relay. So I want to jump the relay. Which one are you going to go to? What are you going to, You're not going to jump these two. This is the coil and the resistor. See the resistor? No, you can't do that. You're going to jump where? 30? And what? 87. These two are you going to jump. You're not going to jump these two because this is how it is at rest. Right now, it's showing you the, re the default. The default, I call it. Once this is energized, this flips from 30 to 87 that's what you're going to jump so therefore that will tell you that these lights work that's what it's going to tell you but you're still left with is this part of the circuit working and is what is the computer working that's why i like to do other things so anyway like i said if i put my meter over here here's my meter i go to pin where I go to pin 87. If I have 12 volts over here, that means all of this is working. That means this is flipped. If this is working, that means what? That means it got the 12 volts relay control from the computer. Computer is good. Computer is good. Ground wire is good. This flipped. This flipped, and now I'm, I get 12 volts. I'm good. Something is bad with this connection over here, the common connection over here going to these. Okay, that again, that's how I troubleshoot with these type of relays. Anyway, go to my videos. You'll see hands on what I said before in the previous videos, how to test relays in circuit, how to test relays for fuel pump in circuit and start a motor in circuit. You don't have to pull it out. You don't have to jump anything. You just put a wire and then it'll tell you uh, if you have 12 volts over, if you have 12 volts over here, or you don't have 12 volts. Easy. Okay, please go to my channel, Joe, the Schematics. For auto and the other automotive, electronic schematics by Joseph. Thank you.